I went to a small antiques fair and uh, I found some nice things and I thought I'd show you. Hello, it's Icy. Just a little short video of a little trip that I made to the Hurstville Antique Fair that happens once every six months or so in the St George area of Sydney. Uh, myself and Miss Icy decided that we were going to go for a little trip uh, and go and check out what we could see. Uh, never been to that one before. Uh, I've never been to an antiques fair before. <laughs> but it was quite good and we did okay lots of small vendors with many small things obviously not somewhere you would go for furniture because they're bringing it into the hall that day and then taking it home again however let me show you some of the things that i've got uh so for mr icy we'll start with the big thing first he does woodworking he does metalworking as well, um, blacksmithing, uh, which if you hear some odd banging noises, that's him right now. Uh, but this is a very old fashioned wood plane. Uh, this one's a bit beat up, but also the price was quite good. And the actual blades themselves and the wedge to hold it in are still here and they seem in okay condition. So we'll see. Hopefully, he hasn't actually had a chance to look at it yet, but hopefully this one is, is good. So this was $35 and I think they're, well, I got it for 30. These are usually a lot more expensive, but yeah, it's not in the, the wood is not in the best quality. Miss Icy got herself a vintage pattern. So this is a Butterick 1955 uh, house coat which I've never seen anything quite so awesome or kind of casual. So you can either have that as a house coat or this one's described as a brunch coat, but it has patch pockets overlapped, pinned at the waist, just like a really actually a collar that would end up very similar to this actually. Uh, and just because she's still a teen and her body is changing shapes. I thought, um, I recommended that she try this one uh, because it should be relatively easy to adjust the waist because obviously she's not corseted um, and she could probably fairly easily adjust for the hips and the bust and things as well. But still get that really rather lovely kind of 19, 1950s, 1950s shape. So that was $9, which seems pretty good. So, yeah, let's see of that one. Uh, for my mother-in-law, who collects, she collects Depression Era glass. So, glass from the Depression Era in Australia, so that's, well, and Australian Depression Era glass, mostly. Um, so, the 1920s. So, this is a little milk, milk jug. This is uranium glass. So if you put this under black light, it does actually glow. And she really likes the uranium glass. Um, you can see the mold lines through here, which is one of the, and, and through the handle, which means that it's been cast in a cheap way, basically. But that's kind of what she's after. And that was $10, which is, which is a pretty reasonable price, actually. Actually, a very good price, even. And then, also, I found for her, with her consultation uh, over the phone, <laughs> this butter dish with a lid. So this is what people used to store uh, their food in, not the fridge obviously, uh, well sometimes, um, or in the cool boxes uh, in one of these to keep it safe. The lids always get broken, it's really hard to find these with a lid so she was like please just buy that for me even though it's kind of on the top range of her prices um but i'm sure that it can be a birthday present for her or something because she is lovely uh and then for me i got this now i've been looking and planning to make a chatelaine so a victorian style arrangement that you wear off the 
off the waistband that's got um, coin purses and thimbles and all of your day-to-day -day things that presumably won't fit in your pockets. Um, so I've been looking for something that I could use to make a coin purse slash purse that could hang off the waist. Now there, I did see an actual, I don't think I got a picture of it. Um, if I did, it'll be inserted here somewhere. Um, an actual uh, Victorian, I think, Chatelaine because the chain came off the top of the handbag to a to a ring which means it's actually meant to be worn off something and I was like oh, and I'm not paying $180 for anything <laughs> really certainly uh, yeah not for not for decoration for a costume that's not actually historically accurate anyway but what I did find was this so it's a little chain purse uh, I need to go away and find out some more details about it. The fact it's chain as opposed to the with the little glow mesh squares does indicate earlier probably than the 40s, maybe. Um, it has pressed, I'm gonna say tin, maybe? Uh, like um, top clasp thingy frame <laughs> there you go uh, so you can see that in there so it's sewn in so it also has lining it feels like it would be the original lining and I it could I don't know if it's silk or polyester but it's got that weird like when the when the fabric goes super super old and the texture starts to feel really odd uh, and this was only $15 and drop the tag off $15 for that seemed, seems pretty good. So I don't know if I can clean it. Um, certainly it's uh, the silvering on here. I don't know if this is silvering or the sun keeps coming in and out or just tarnishing, uh, but I was very pleased. So there's no um, like little rings on here. So this one is designed to go in a purse as opposed to be hung for decoration whether i rig something that means i can hang it or if i just keep it because it was 15 dollars and it's really really pretty and cool i don't know yet but uh i saw many lovely things um i saw lots of interesting stuff uh i would go back again it cost five dollars for entry uh, but uh, they are raising, the, the organization that runs it raises money uh, for charity for women and girls around the world. So money from that goes to, uh, goes to charity, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I would possibly consider going back again. I think it comes back in about six months or so. So that's a maybe. But yeah, I did, I, I had fun, got some good stuff, uh, which is lovely. And yeah, but... Thank you very much for joining me today here. Uh, do you go antiquing or vintage thrifting? Um, I like the, I like bargains, so I think I prefer I think I prefer thrifting as opposed to vintaging. We we saw some really nice things that were vintage, um, and some things that were vintage that weren't particularly expensive. Uh, but I always bulk. At like I kind of don't want to pay money just to look at stuff I want to pay money to use things so yeah so even when I buy like kind of vintage style plates which I do occasionally uh, they're to use um, they're not expensive ones they're not fancy they're not even particularly collectible but if I have them I kind of want to use them so but Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I appreciate it. If you haven't, please do subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, you can also find me over at Instagram. Uh, if you search for hello, it's icy. Uh, you'll find me there. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.